Hello Makers. Uh, back in 2017 I started building the InMove project and named mine Fred. You may have seen some videos I've had with him before. But I'd stopped at the waist. Uh, I did start to build a second InMove with the modified uh, torso, uh, lower torso, waist area with the view to making a walking version. However, that didn't quite work out. Um, I've got most of the legs built, but there are a few flaws in the design uh, that we still needed to work through, such as the ankle and maybe a little bit in the hips. But it wasn't a bad design. Having not had any progress on it for the last year or so, year or two, uh, I thought I'd get back into it and at least build the static legs. So Gail has had for some time up on his InMove site the legs for Fred, or for the InMove robot. So I thought I'll print them out and I'll put it together. So this is a static version. You can see in the design when you look through where he's had a bit of a go at trying to make it a moving unit. Uh, I think he's come to the conclusion that it wasn't going to work too well with the servos and that using standard RC servos they just didn't have enough speed or power in order to make it work. So he converted this to be a standing version only. So to do that what he's done is he's made these blocks that mount where the bottom servo was and the idea is a threaded rod provides support up through the middle of the legs. So I'm going to uh, assemble this. Put some screws in and um, that'll. this video will only cover the feet and ankles. So let's get into it. Now there's one screw buried right down You can just see the hole inside that entry point here and that is very difficult to get a screw into. I kept having trouble with screws falling off the screwdriver and then losing them in through the body. Now these, when they come out, are slightly under 8mm in diameter and unfortunately when I printed mine, just my settings, it was slightly under as well so I had to drill these holes out to 8mm with an 8 Okay, now this part I had a lot of trouble cleaning out. It is suggested to print it with support, which I did, but I may have had my uh, support a little bit too coarse, or fine as the case may be. Um, I ended up with lots of plastic in the gear teeth, but since this is a static model, it's not going to be an issue. You can see here provision for a servo, and that was to drive through here on a gear. The servo that was supposed to mount in this spot here was supposed to drive up through here somehow. I'm not exactly sure what he had in mind but he changed his mind anyway and went with the static model. At least we can adjust the pose on these. So the idea is, once all the leg is assembled together, a threaded rod will be this block, nut top and bottom. It runs up 
through the middle here and through the, the remainder of the legs and is attached to a plate the, or a, a brace in the top of the leg. When I get to it I'll show you that one too in another video. Now this block has a hole is offset and that is actually going to be on the side with the cutout in the servo holder for where the wires would be. So the hole towards the back of the heel in other words. not very well formed. Alright so that concludes this video anyway. Um, the next part is the tibia. I've got the first of those prints on the printer as we speak. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. That way you'll know when the next video does come out. And we'll see you then.